Good morning. Oh, goodbye. Good morning, Chia. Remember that Charleston weather I was telling you guys about? Yeah. Oh, well, look, it's changing right before our eyes. So today I have some errands that I have to run before heading into work for the evening. Sounds very exciting, I know. But one of those errands actually is kind of exciting. Um, I will be going to pick up my new camera today. So recently I've been having a little bit of an issue with this camera. I've had it for three years now, I think, and uh, it's been great. It works really well in low lighting situations, which obviously I need. <laughs> uh, the problem is I have not been very kind to it. This camera has been dropped so many times I have completely lost track. And unfortunately, all of those drops are starting to affect it a little bit. I've been having this weird problem recently where while I'm recording, it will try to start zooming in on its own and there's like nothing that I can do to stop it. Unless I hold down the button to zoom back out, then it like keeps it, it overrides and keeps it from doing it. The problem is by doing that, then it starts damaging the gears and the motor. In fact, the other night when I was recording the room tour, I was having to hold it down pretty much the entire time. And by the time I finished recording that video, this camera had gotten very hot almost too hot to the touch and it's not a good thing and technically i probably could just have this one sent off to be repaired uh the thing is i i've kind of been thinking about upgrading anyway this one is the canon g7 and i've kind of been thinking about upgrading to the canon g7 mark ii for a while so i feel like this is kind of a good excuse to upgrade to the new one and then the good thing is since this one is still in decent working order, uh, now I'll have two, so I can, I'll be able to be a little bit more flexible with certain things. But in any case, uh, that is, I am going to pick that up here in a little while. I actually ordered it online, and I had it delivered over to my parents' house, just because I feel like it's safer to have stuff delivered to their place than ours. Also, yep. Still listening to this song. I'll keep you updated on when I switch to a new one. So I'm at my parents' house to pick up the camera and there's something kind of funny. Apparently everybody's getting into the gardening and plant keeping hobby this season. My dad has some, uh, he's working on growing bonsai trees here in the windowsill. Looks like the Norway spruce is doing the most. Oh well, that was silly. I walked all the way back there and it was here the whole time. So I still have a little bit of time before I have to go to work, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and check it out a little bit. I plan on doing a full unboxing video later tonight. Yeah. There we go. Like that. I'll do some comparison test videos tonight as well. But one thing I am excited about is it has this ring around the front of the lens and I can set that to control different things and I like using that to control the exposure so that if I am in like a super dark area I can turn it and I have it disabled right now but you hear that click yeah there's no way to turn that click off but on the new model it's totally fluid so you wouldn't hear it at all so that is one thing I'm looking forward to but for now I guess it's time to head on over to the old work fun times
All right, so here is the very first shot on the new camera. I will tell you already, one of my favorite things about it is, like I was saying earlier, is this ringing. Look at this. You can change the zoom, and it's silent, or mostly silent. You don't hear the, uh, the clicking like you used to. And then, with just the tap of a button, I can also change the f-stop seamlessly. I don't have to go into all the settings, I can do it as I'm recording. So that in itself is a feature that I like. Ooh, look at that. I can change the shutter speed too. That's weird. I can go all the way up to 1 8th shutter speed, which has a lot of motion blur. Obviously, we won't use this setting. So I also wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison uh, just to see if there is a noticeable difference in the video. I plan on doing a more in-depth version of this later on. The very first thing I notice is the original G7X has a much wider field of view than the Mark II does. I'm pretty sure... Yep, I've zoomed out all the way. So... That's the very first thing that I notice. So I'm definitely going to do some more testing and figure out what looks better, how to get this one to the same as what I'm used to, and everything is a lot of settings. But that is going to have to do it for me for tonight. Like I said, I'm going to keep messing around with this camera and figure out all the, all the new settings and everything and do some comparison shots and stuff of all the crazy lighting effects and stuff around the house. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.